Okay, so we're looking at the DX5000 Plus radio. I've used the software a little bit more, and I've discovered that you can actually reprogram to get more frequencies on a band. So right now we're in band F, and normally if you do the conversion, this is where band F would end. But if you go into your software, you can tell the radio you want more, and it will give you 20 more allotments or channels or memories, however you want to look at it. So I've essentially added the rest of the 10 meter voice band to the radio. And if I want to, I can go to the zero still, simply by doing that. Now you have to remember, these are more like a memory. So if I move away and I come back, it's going to stay there. It's going to stay wherever I set the, and essentially it's like a VFO. Wherever I set the VFO, we'll leave it there. We'll a ways down, we'll come back. That's where it's going to stay. So, and you can change the step size of you know however you want to do it. You can change all that in the in the menu. With the, you hold the function down, you turn your channel selector. I think it's number thirteen for step. You can change all that if you want to. So I thought that was pretty cool because. You know, in the beginning, I think in the first look video or maybe the second look video, I did say that after you do the conversion, that if you want to go back and use voice on 10 meter like the rest of it, you have to go back and switch it back. Well, you do, you do not have to, so I was wrong there. But again, I really hadn't had a lot of time to, you know, experiment with the radio and learn all the capabilities. So this is something that I've learned and... Um, I think it's pretty nice that you can do that. So I'll show you guys another instance here. If we go to band D, this would be our normal one through 40. But now I've added 415 and 425 to it. And you could keep going. You could go, you know, 43, 44, 45, all the way up to 60. So you could go from 405 to 605. Or you can put anything you want in any of those memory slots or allotments or channels whatever you want to put you could you could change this to whatever you want you can do anything you want with this software so it's pretty uh pretty cool that you can do that so i'll show you guys let's demonstrate here i'll add a couple more uh we'll go to band d and we'll come up here to our monitor so we can see here we have band d now the radio is fully programmable from 24.715 to 30.105. Those are the two extremes, anywhere in between. So what we'll do here is we'll click on number 43. We'll say 27.435. You're thinking, well, man, I got to type both sides in. Don't nope. just hit tab on your keyboard. It does it for you. If you don't like that, you want to delete it, just hit delete and then click it's gone so it's not as hard as you know maybe some people might think it is to do this kind of stuff it's like programming a scanner in the old days in a sense so you don't even have to hit tab you can just click your mouse so 27.445 click your mouse there it is and you can just keep going 27.455 you don't even have to click the uh, right box. You just click and it's done. So you can see right there we've added a few more. So what I'll do now is I'm going to write to the radio. Right here. Right here. And then it'll start doing its thing. If you look at your radio, it'll say PC. And then when it's done, it'll it'll tell you it's done by saying end. So you just power off, power on. Now the radio is going to reprogram itself based on the information we just gave it. So now if we go to here, we have exactly what I put in. Now it stops at 45 because that's where we stopped. If we look here, we stopped at 45. So I thought that was pretty neat that you can do that. And that's just me kind of looking at things and saying, hey, you know, you got all these extra allotments on the screen. I wonder if I can fill those in. Well, yep, sure, you sure can. They're right there and you can do whatever you want with them. So 
Um, if you want to go down to band A, which is the very bottom, you can see I put the very bottom in 24715. Normally it's like 25 something after you do the conversion. I put a few more, but I think normally it's like 25.6 something is where it starts. So, you know, if you want to put all of 12 meter, all of the 12 meter band down here, you could do it. You could put 60 memories down here. You don't even have to have, you could have, you could have all of the 12 meter band because it's such a small band. And then you could put some of your favorite frequencies if you want with the rest of it. I mean, you can do so much. You can program so much into this radio, however you want to do it. You do not have to go off what they have if you don't want to. Now, if you start changing stuff and you just all of a sudden don't like what you've done and you just want to revert back, there's always this sticker on the top and that will tell you how to totally just reset everything so the radio is always going to be the master reset of everything if you want to reset stuff the radio will do everything um, otherwise i believe you can also go to on the software you can go to possibly setup and you can go to initial setting if you wanted to do that and click that. And now you can see everything reverted back to normal. If we go to band F, um, let's see where it ends. I believe it'll end at 305 again. Yep, it ends at 305. So then we lost all the stuff I put in. So you can also do it that way as well. And that'll reset all your frequencies back to what you want. So I'm going to read from radio because I want all that stuff back so let's do that really quick and there's one more thing I want to show you guys and that's going to be it for this one so okay that's back and now we can see everything is back and F nothing changed here because we didn't actually reset anything we just read the information back from the radio into the software and we can see everything is still exactly how we wanted it um what i wanted to show you guys is over here optional features so um, you can if you don't ever want to use pa or cw or any of these modes you can uncheck them and they simply won't work so you guys can see i have pa and cw disabled so um if i go there they just don't do anything so it's not really too you know i don't understand why that's really there i mean you can use it if you want and i just demonstrated it does work but this would be more beneficial on a radio like a let me think like a CRT 9900 Anytone Quad 6 where it's where it's just a the the mode button is just a button there's not an actual rocker switch so it's just a button you beep 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 or whatever so on my uh, CRT SS 9900 that I run out my mobile I shut off PA I shut off CW so now what I, and I shut off FM because I don't really use FM in the mobile so when I hit my mode it just goes AM lower sideband, upper sideband, AM. It just keeps cycling because those are the only three modes I'm going to use in my car. So this radio, you can do that as well. But again, you don't really have to worry about because you can go wherever you want with the switch. So if I want if I want to turn those back on, I can just next time I upload back to the radio, they'll work again, basically. So um, you have SWR protection. It comes pretty high out of the box. So I would recommend anyone... You know, it gets one of these to go in and adjust it to a much lower level. I think it comes 10 out of the box. That's just way too high. Uh, when you TX with the radio, normally it just shows frequency display. I set mine to show SWR. So um, let me go to uh, regular band here. Channel 1. You can see our SWR right there, 1.1. Now it does have another SWR feature right here. If you go, what well, if that's the lock feature? There we go. So if you go there, SWR comes up on the screen. 
So what will happen now, the first bar means one, and then the little bar means 1.1. And if you look in your owner's manual, it will describe how to decipher what it's telling you. But it's just so much easier if you just do it like this. You don't have to have it like this. You could shut that back off if you wanted to. You could read the frequency. You could tell it to show you your timeout timer as you're keyed up. And you don't want to uh, talk for a long time. You can set that wherever you want, how many seconds. And um, I think it's 180. Yeah, it's 180 seconds, so three minutes. Uh, but you can set it, uh, you know, you could turn it off for 30 seconds, whatever you wanted to, you know, and it'll count down. What else does it say? It'll show battery voltage and TX frequency. So those are the four options. So I like SWR. I'd rather read it and see a big number on my radio than use the little graph, but you can use the little graph too. And I'm going to assume if we went to a 1.5, it would be like five bars out kind of thing. So. It does work, but you don't need to use it if you do what I've done. So that's really it. Uh, that's all I have to show right now. I thought that was pretty cool that you can add, you know, the rest of the 10 meter in. And you can essentially think of all these channels, like I've said before, as like, like a scanner, like an allotment or a memory. You can put whatever you want. You know, again, this radio is uh, European. It's been pretty much approved for every European country. There are a lot of countries that use a totally different um, frequency allotment for their citizens band or for their unlicensed radio band. So you can do a lot of different things with this radio and that's why it's so user friendly as far as programming it. And uh, I, I really like the way it performs and I think this, this just makes it so much better. So Again, that's just a quick look at the menu and what you can do with the radio. I will probably do a third look video sometime this weekend, try to get it posted. I did post a um, post on my YouTube channel asking maybe what some of the, the viewers would like to see out of this radio. And uh, one guy, Matt, that I know quite well from talking to him quite a bit out in uh, Idaho, he asked about seeing SWR. So if you watch this video, Matt, I just kind of showed you that. Um, another gentleman asked me about a noise canceling microphone, but unfortunately I don't have one right now. So I can't really show you how that would work with the radio because I just don't have one. But uh, I'm waiting for a few more comments. Get guys give me some ideas. You know, I can show you guys some more stuff. I can demonstrate some stuff whatever you want to see with the radio i'm kind of leaving the third look up to the viewers and what they might want to see and uh, they can tell me what they want and i'll try to show as best as i can so hope everybody's having a good one out there uh the antenna we're still waiting on the the tower guys to come out i'm not sure what's going on with them they've kind of went uh mia i guess i don't know maybe they come down with a a cold or something i'm not really sure but hopefully i'll hear from them this week and things will get moving on that front so seven three have a good one